Hey Earth Signs, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys, I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for your overall advice, career, and finances. Please keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so some of the messages may or may not apply to your exact situation. So guys, just take whatever fits and leave the rest. Okay, spirits, so... Please give me three cards for my earth signs when it comes to their overall advice. What messages did you have for my earth signs, please? Okay, I have nine of air, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleepless nights, okay? Seven of earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. Five of fire, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Air. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. Okay, so, Earth Signs. This basically lets me know, y'all in y'all head, okay? Oh, Earth Signs, you're in your head. And they're saying that you're expecting the worst to take place, whether that's with your career, your finances, shoot, it could be friends, family, love, it could be anything. And is bothering you so much that some of you guys are losing sleep or you're having trouble sleeping but spirit wants you to know everything that you've been doing up to this point you've been planting those seeds those seeds will grow but you have to continue to have patience and that's why they're saying you're worrying for no reason it's going to be fine but with five of fire you have people that are around you or there's someone around you that is in some type of secret competition. For some of you, I feel like you know that they're competing against you and you're kind of like, why? Like, I just come in, I do what I'm supposed to do. I don't worry about nobody. I don't bother no one. But there's somebody that's definitely competing with you. There's someone that's trying to stir the pot. Don't pay this person or those individuals any attention. I want you guys to remain focused on you. Block those naysayers out and keep moving forward because something's going to take place really fast. I keep telling y'all, y'all planted seeds and it's getting ready to grow. But when you have these options coming in, you're going to have to sit down and make some decisions. So take your time, but stop worrying, okay? Stop. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, spirit. So my earth sign. Earth sign. When it comes down to their career, what messages do you have for my earth signs, please? Bottom of the deck, I have the seven of swords reversed. So that's letting me know you guys are making changes when it comes down to your career. Yep, because it's like you guys were committed or you are still committed to your career. Tell me more. Tell me about the King of Cups. King of Pentacles. Yeah. I said mm, like that the first time. He looks a little shady to me. So this could be you and there's somebody else around you that you work with. So this could be like a quote unquote friend at work. This could be um, an employer at work. There's somebody around you that you work with. Be very mindful. It's somebody that you're cool with. So, for some of you guys, let's see. You guys have just been focusing on yourself, but Spirit is saying they need you to listen to your intuition. Because I'm seeing there's an offer coming in, okay? Or somebody's trying to give you some type of offer. And you're frustrated. Why? Ooh, King of Wands tried to come out, but the King of Swords came out. Okay. So, you're frustrated about this offer. Because it's like you're not letting something or someone go. Yeah, you don't know what to do. Tell me more. You don't see yourself having a new beginning. Tell me more. Yeah, I see you putting an end to some type of commitment. This could even be, I don't know, I just heard friendship. Maybe somebody that you're working with, you're, you know, you felt close to, you're realizing they're shady. You're realizing that they backstabbed you some type of way. So you're putting an end to some type of relationship at work. But for some of you guys, maybe this is you putting an end to your career, you know, this particular job. Because I see, okay, <laughs> I see a lot of you guys just focusing on yourself because it's like ultimately you want happiness. 
but you're afraid things may not improve where you are right now. And it's like you're wanting to balance things out because you feel like things aren't balanced. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. I, I knew it. Somebody stabbed you in the back. Somebody definitely betrayed you and you're healing, but seeing you're keeping quiet. You're just staying to yourself. You're not really talking to or, you know, doing anything with anyone. And see, yeah, you're being careful because you're like, you know what? I don't even want to have a new beginning or a new start with an individual. And it's just like, I see you guys being confident. It's like, you know what you have to do, but some of you guys are moving really slow because you're like, you know what? The seeds that I planted here, I don't see them growing at all. Yeah, you guys are moving on. Clarify the will of fortune. You're manifesting. Okay, some of you guys are manifesting a new job, um, manifesting like that new career opportunity. Because right now, you t it's like you, I almost said you too. Ooh. Why am I picking up for somebody you're thinking about going into business with someone else? And for some of you, maybe it started out with three people, but it, but it broke down to two. Or some of you guys, it's only two, but... I don't know. Somebody feels like they can't trust someone else or someone did them wrong. And so now you're trying to figure out what to do. And that's why you're undecided. That was for somebody there. Um, I feel like you haven't 100% walked away yet, but you're frustrated. Why? You're going to lose out on money. Okay. But they're saying they need you to have the strength to stay positive. See? Yeah. Yeah, there's somebody around you that you work with or somebody that you consider like family. I'm going to be honest with you. You want to have a victory with this person, but you don't see things turn around. I see you walking away. There's somebody you're going to walk away from, or this could be your job. It's like, you know how a lot of times when you're working, your work family is based like your family because you see them a lot more than your regular family because you're always at work. Now, it could be a little different because of COVID-19, but you get where I'm going. I see you guys just walking away from someone or individuals, but this could also be you getting out of your head as well. And you're making some decisions when it comes down to your career, because you want happiness, you want stability, your money, you know, you want it to look really good. But right now there's definitely some type of blockage or there's some type of conflict and you guys are going to have to make a decision. But whoever it is or whatever your situation is, I see you walking away. You know, you're going to walk away from this person. Okay, let's look at your finances. Spirit, when it comes to my earth signs and their finances, what messages do you have, please? Bottom of the deck, you have the four of pentacles reversed. So, yeah, you don't see things improving financially speaking right now. And you want happiness. It could be because of like family or maybe you guys are feeling like you have to take care of family. But I see that you're coming out of being frustrated. Yep, you're coming out of your head. Some of you guys are tired of arguing with someone or other individuals. And see, you're not positive. Sorry, y'all. Let me move this down. You're not positive about what to do because see, it's like you keep giving money or you keep helping someone out. Tell me more. Yeah, and it's like you're trying to balance things out, but you don't see yourself having a new beginning when it comes down to your finances because you're always having to give, see the family or someone from your past. But there's something, it's like your money is suffering because some of you guys are helping someone else out or you're kind, it's like someone's always asking you for money, but you keep giving it to them. And for a lot of you guys, you're not learning your lesson and they need you to have the strength. I feel like they need you to have the strength to speak up and tell them no. See? Because you're going to get out of your head. You're going to come out of being frustrated about this situation. And yeah, you're speaking up. Because I see that you're going to end up moving on. Some of you guys may have to move, physically move, you know, in order to stop from like paying someone or giving to someone. Because see, you don't see yourself having a new beginning. Yeah, you're going to let someone go. Yeah, I'm saying there could have been a lot of harsh communication, but I see you're going to move really fast to make this decision because things are going to balance out for you. And so right now you're working really hard and you're focusing on your money. Tell me more. 
but you're stuck trying to make a decision because right now, financially speaking, you feel like you don't have stability and you feel like, okay, what it is that you want to do, you're not going to be able to build. You're not going to be able to do what it is that you want to do until financially speaking, you know, you're okay. Maybe some of you guys are trying to save money. You know, you're trying to take care of other things. And this is why some of you feel stuck in a situation. But right now it's like you can't move forward and it frustrates you. Y'all are worried because you're trying to do better. You're trying to get out of a situation, but some of you feel like you can't. But I'm telling you, something is going to happen really fast for you. But Spirit is saying, once you make this decision, you got the Ace of Cups. There's an offer coming in for you. Clarify the Ace of Cups. I told you, get out of your head. Look at that. It could be a job offer. This could be you guys just focusing on your money. See, but you got to remove yourself away from someone. This could even be you getting out of your head. See, keep whatever your plans are to yourself. Cause there's a woman around you i said dang i wasn't even trying to say woman well if i it slipped so there's a woman around you that is coming after you financially speaking and because you've been having a hard time moving away from her this for some of you guys could be the mother of your child some of you guys this could be um your mother or this is like some type of mother figure in your life she is blocking your money for some of you um i am hearing when it comes to career it kind of goes back. There's somebody at work that's been trying to block you financially. Because remember I told you guys some of you felt stabbed in the back. So, yeah, see, this person was sneaky. And this is why you got to make a change. <sighs> All right, Earth Signs, that was your reading. Y'all, we're, we're going to see how this plays out next month. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, until next time, you know, I love you guys. Please take care and stay safe, okay? Bye, Earth Signs.